Yani. Wow. Thank you, Bobby. <gülüyor> Hello everybody, you can call me Bobsy. I'm a Filipina who is married to a foreigner. I'll be sharing recipes that I cook for my husband. Alright, so before we start, let's put on our apron, shall we? Let me also tie up my hair so that I don't look like a wak wak. By the way, wak wak is a mythical creature in the Philippines, but anyway. I'm not gonna bore you with irrelevant information, so let's start cooking. Alright, let's start thoroughly washing our meat. I'm using drumsticks and chicken wings because these are the juicier parts of the chicken, and I like them juice. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, get in there. Wash, wash, wash thoroughly. All right, now that we're done thoroughly washing all of our chicken parts, let's start the boiling process. I want to boil the chicken with some lemongrass, with some onion leeks, and some spices. All right, after adding all our aromatics, wow, that was a tongue twister. Let's add our chicken. <laughs> Stir that bad boy. Let's add some Himalayan salts for taste. Then boil it for about two to three minutes in high heat. While waiting, let's prepare our potatoes for our stir fried potatoes. If you have a foreigner husband, then you understand they love them potatoes. You know, since I bought this beautiful potato peeler, it just saved me so much time. I mean, this is a lifesaver right here. I mean, look how easily it peels through the potatoes. I mean, that's just beautiful. Wow. All right, our chicken is semi-cooked. You don't want to overcook it because you want to deep fry it. Oh man, the aroma of this broth is just beautiful. Here's what our chicken looks like. As you can see, it's not fully cooked because we're gonna deep fry it. While it cools down, let's continue preparing our stir-fried potatoes. You wanna cut them in small pieces. Ow! <laughs> so after I mince the potato, I add them to the pot to boil. I add Himalayan salt for taste. And then I'm gonna look for other ingredients for stir-fry. I wanna get sour cream. Then, of course, these bad boys, the hoisin sauce. Let's also add some leeks and let's not forget to put the butter and the lemon. Well, maybe some of this as well. Mince all of those spices. Let's start with the leeks. Then the onions. Ay, slice, 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 slice. Then let's not forget about the garlic. Just skip swimming, just skip swimming. <laughs> you know guys, this is exactly what's going on in my mind 99% of the time. <laughs> so here's a life hack when mincing garlic. Make sure your knife is fully submerged in water when mincing so that it doesn't stick on to your knife and make it a little bit more harder for you to operate. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, that was a bad idea. Let's start creating our glaze sauce, shall we? Mix oil and lemon juice, and then if you can get this pack, it's honey rube sauce. It's already with hoisin sauce and everything that you need. Sesame as well. I like a little bit more hoisin in my glaze. Now stir everything together, and you should have this beautiful thick glaze right here that we can add after. All right, so our chicken has cooled down. Let's start prepping it for our deep fry. I'm going to add red cayenne in this recipe because we love heat. I mean, this is very optional. I also love adding paprika just for that aromatic. Then I'm adding flour and cornstarch for that thick batter. And then mix it all together and you should have this type of consistency. Set that aside and let's start cooking our stir fry. I want to add a lot of butter. Once everything has melted, then add your spices. That is a mix of onion, garlic, and pepper. Stir them very well. I mean the aroma of this beautiful stir fry that we're cooking. Then add your potatoes. Also try to infuse everything together. Once you start infusing everything together, add your other spices like the red cayenne. Add a little bit of milk. Let it simmer down and make sure it's cooked thoroughly together with the potatoes. And after that, you can add your sour cream. Now add about a tablespoon of sour cream onto this dish. You can add more. 
depends on how much of that tanginess you want for your stir fry potato. Once it's done, plate it and set it aside so that we can now deep fry our chickens. In a hot pot, add a lot of oil so that we can deep fry our chicken. Make sure that it's in low heat so that the chicken can cook thoroughly. Once it's done, you'll see a beautiful golden color like this, then set it aside. Ay, nako, ano ba yan? Nabuslot na noon, sa una lang, di na noon guapa. <laughs> Alright, so now let's start infusing our chicken with the glaze. Let's start with some onion leeks. We gotta heat them up, stir them as much as possible. Then add our beautiful sauce that we made a while ago. It's just the aroma of this. It's just amazing. Now lemon is optional. I like it a little tangy, so I add a lot of lemon there. My husband likes it too, that's why I add a lot of lemon. Alright, so let's start infusing our chicken with our sauce. Beautiful. So. The chicken that you've set aside, add it into the pot and then stir it. Flip it so that it gets infused with the actual sauce and it's just beautiful. My husband actually came home early from lunch so he was gracious enough to help me film. Alright, it's time for plating. I don't hold back in terms of portions because my husband is a foreigner and he's a man so he eats a lot, right? So the more protein the better. And voila! Glazed chicken for my foreigner husband. He enjoyed it very very much and you can also use this recipe if you have a foreigner husband. Thanks everybody for watching!